All new at six local families dealing with a troubling mix of grief, confusion, confusion and anger. It all comes after a local funeral home ran into trouble with the state. And some just want to get their loved ones remains back. Well, 13 Action News has some answers for you tonight, but a warning. There are some troubling images in this report. I was physically sick. I mean, I was just sick. Don Bornheimer is already dealing with tragedy over the death of her granddaughter, Skye. She was born deceased. Now she's dealing with this. Disturbing images from Heights Funeral Home on West Sunset in Henderson. Pictures showing body bags clearly stacked on one another. Oh my God, what does that mean for me? Heights currently has Skye's remains. Dawn says she called Heights Funeral Home and couldn't get any answers. So Dawn contacted 13 Action News. We reached out to Heights, then we contacted the state. We found out Nevada's Funeral and Cemetery Services Board citing the business for storing too many bodies and for too long. The funeral home and crematory's license now suspended for the next six months. Obviously, when you shut down a funeral home, you you can't do that overnight. Jennifer Kant is executive director of the Funeral and Cemetery Services Board. When I was there on July 22nd or 20th, one of those dates, I was told there were approximately 230 decedents in their care. Kant says that number has gone down since Heights isn't taking any more bodies from the coroner's office. She says Heights Funeral Home has until this Friday to submit a list of all their deceased. The funeral home is now concentrating on getting remains delivered to loved ones. They have 30 days to handle disposition for individuals where they have a signed and paid contract. All other families will be contacted about transferring remains to another funeral home. But if you've reached out to Heights and can't get the help you're looking for, Kant says contact her office. You know, I can't guarantee that we'll have all the answers or information that they want, but for things that we can answer, we absolutely will will try to do that. That's exactly what Dawn has done. She contacted Kant and says she finally feels like she's getting the help that she needs. She's going to make some phone calls to me for me today. Jennifer has made me feel like she's going to do something and help me. Yeah, it's certainly a difficult time for all those families and Heights will undergo an inspection after six months in order to see if they're fit to reopen. We have details on how to contact the Funeral and Cemetery Services Board. It's on our website. Just go to KTNV.com and search keyword Funeral Board.